Hello, my friend, and welcome back to another ladder battle. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We've got Hero spawning here in the top right-hand corner, Sharp in the top left, and I really wanted to take a look at this little match here. Sharp and Hero, two of the greats uh, in the current season of ASL. They did very well, no spoilers, but these two met in ASL, and fireworks ensued. I cannot wait to see what things are going to be like with Sharp here uh, versus Hero on this map and with no pressure at all for these two players. They're just meeting up on ladder. Sharp is on a barcode ID, so Hero probably doesn't know who he is. I don't see any chatter going back and forth between these two, so they can both play at their absolute peak with no pressure. Um... We never know what's going on with these two guys, why, why they're playing ladder. Are they uh, actually practicing? Are they trying out new builds? Are they just winding down or maybe playing on stream? Not really too sure with either of these two players, what they're at right now in terms of their headspace, but Sharp's going to open up with an eight racks here at the front. I'm going to send some early... Marines to go ahead and pressure, and this is exactly what you want to see with an 8 racks is that quick 12 pool, or 12 hatchery, excuse me. The 12 hatchery here, very vulnerable to the potential uh, Marine push that's going to come through. And first drone sees that, he spots it. That's a very important scout. He's now going to know not to build a gas and to pull about 8 drones once this... Uh, Marine army starts to make its way over. He actually has to get this overlord over the wall. You don't want to be losing the overlord during this. Uh, that could be devastating. So he's going to pull. Let's see how many. Look at that. Eight drones. A ninth going to come up here and meet. I'm going to try to get by here. Ooh, that was a great block with the SCVs. But one drone going down. The drones are now kind of on top of all of this. The third Marine is going to arrive. Second drone does fall. Great targeting here from Sharp. Really good targeting. He's not wasting any shots on any of these other drones. And he gets a third as well. Got to pull this one back. That drone really important not to lose that fourth drone as three go down. Um, it's pretty well even. It's This is worth it now for Sharp with three drones killed. But if he got any more there, it would have started to get really, really bad for Hero. He was producing drones during all that. You can see he only made two lings, uh, which is very, very good for Hero. He's going to be resaturating. And Sharp, realizing that he's really underproduced lings here, going to actually send three Marines out. Try and catch these lings as they come up to the high ground. He's not quite able to get that. So falling back here with the Marines now. Um, we don't have a layer yet. Everything's been slowed down quite a lot. But I think we're on relatively even ground right now, I'd say. I wouldn't put, like, too much of a favorite on either of these players. I think that Sharp's probably in a better position, but... Alright, gonna lose a few Marines here. Not quite what Hero was looking for. He probably shouldn't have microed that last Ling. Try to get this Marine instead. But all the Lings go down. And the marine count is continuing to rise. I don't think we're going to build any links back at home. No, he starts link speed and a couple pairs of links. I don't know if that's a, a prudent decision here. Maybe he could have, instead of starting the um, link speed, he could have maybe thrown down a sunken colony here and just uh, gone off of links. But that's his decision. That's what he's going to roll with here. Uh, maybe gonna lose an overlord. Uh-oh. This overlord getting caught is pretty brutal. Is it gonna get over the high ground? No. Not able to get over the high ground. Looks like two marines will be traded for this, though. No choice, but he's gonna end up losing those marines. Alright, maybe not. I really thought that he was gonna give those up, but... Hero not gonna try and finish those off just yet. Waiting for speed to come up. Has a... A second hatchery here in the main. Almost no drones here. And he starts a third hatch. This is due to the uh, supply block there. He just wasn't able to make any drones at all. Uh, and he had a big glut of minerals. So as you can see, 
almost nothing here in the natural but he threw down that hatchery not a great economy here right now for hero i would say the the early game damage was one thing but the overlord kill there is actually what's hurting him much much more sometimes uh i will go up against the eight racks uh and fight with drones and i'll kill off all the marines with my drones and I'll feel very, very good only losing like one or two drones. But I miss if I miss the Overlord during that and I get supply blocked right after, the early game supply block with Zerg is so brutal, I'll actually feel uh, like almost close to dead. Like almost no way to recover just from missing the Overlord at that point. So really rough supply block there for Hero. He's got one sunken here at the natural. More Lings are popping out. Looks like he's going to... Try to surround this marine force, but more marines are coming. A fire bat here as well. And he's just gonna retreat home as quickly as possible. Six mutas are on the way. Of course, it's quite late, but considering all the action that's gone on, this is not bad where it's almost seven minutes. He's gonna have seven mutas here very, very soon. So it's, uh. Not going to be too bad here for Hero. Let's see what he can do with the Mutas in the main base of the Terran. Turrets coming up here. We haven't made any scanners yet. Okay, we have one scanner here. Never mind. We have one scanner. And check to see what's coming. It seems like he's already figured it out. The missile turrets finish, and the Marines inside the main base ready to respond. He will be able to hold this back. Oh, losing a Muta already. That's brutal. Really hard to believe that we actually lost a Muta at this point. That's very, very early. But great response from Sharp to just track down those Mutas and chase them around the main base. I'm then going to try and get some free Glaive bounces on that barracks, but... I don't think that Sharp's going to let that happen. He's got too good of positioning here, and he could always just lift this barracks and float it into the main anyway. The turret's coming up over the barracks now, and a third base on the way here for Hero. Droning up after those first six mutas, and now switching back into mutalist production once again. He's going to have to hold this next marine medic push that comes out. And protect this uh, hatchery down here in the bottom right uh, with just pure muta. muta. Um, if he gets past the... Sunken or the uh sunken so if, he gets, if he gets past the turrets here and sees that the starports already on the way He will find out he needs actually hydralis den. Yeah, so he does pick up hydralis den and queen's nest I think some star sense going on there Realizing that there's not quite enough barracks. There must be a factory and everything done He needs to get some more tech going because we're on a clock right now. The starports gonna finish um, he's actually gone for armory, so he is going to pop a couple of Valkyries here right away and try to break the bottom right before lurkers are involved in this game. And that could be the moment where Sharp breaks through. Hero, he'll have to transition this quickly. He has a lurker on the way now. He's gonna have to go ahead and get Hydras down to the bottom right. He's sending drones right now, transferring quite a lot. Transferring a whole bunch of drones down to the bottom right. We'll get that. Third gas up and operational here shortly. Opening up a little bit of supply here now. For when the lurker upgrade is done. That's uh, a real pain if you don't have uh, any open supply when the lurker upgrade finishes. It could end up costing you the game. I don't see any overlords in production. We only have a few supply open here. Enough for... What's that? four no yeah two lurkers oh boy just two lurkers two supply each so um now only enough supply for one lurker he has an overlord on the way now some sunken colony is going to be made that'll actually fill out some supply that'll open up some supply here first valkyrie is helping him to push out and the marine medic is going to make it here to the front but that's a lot of sunken colonies Hero really being forced into this. He wouldn't like to build this many sunken colonies if he didn't have to. Oh, Valkyrie goes down. That's a big pickoff. Kind of sloppy play there from Sharp to allow that to go down. Could end up losing this Valkyrie as well. 
This Valkyrie very, very low. Wow. Just keeping that alive just barely. These two Valkyries super low on that HP. A couple of uh, SCVs trailing along here. Maybe he's going to use those to repair the Valks now. Yeah, it looks like he will. Definitely a good idea to get those repaired back up. But Lurkers are out at both bases at this point. The drone saturation is starting to look pretty darn good at 36. And uh, we can look to take the, the fourth base here pretty soon. Armor's on the way. We're only at plus one here for the turn. Plus one armor's not quite done yet, but it will be coming along here. Defiler Mound, Nidus Canal. Everything looking good right here for Hero, but we're entering this phase of the game where Terran is going to have like three to five attempts to try and break through Zerg wherever he deems fit, whether it be down here in the bottom right, whether it's up here in the top, uh, in, in the main base, or maybe at this natural or at this natural, wherever he decides to break through, he's going to have about three to five chances, whether that be with dropships or just with pure irradiates to try and bust in and kill the Zerg player. And if he doesn't manage to get massive damage uh, or just outright win the game with those attempts, then uh, he'd better have four bases online and battle cruisers and tanks and everything coming out uh, to fight with Hero in the late game because he is rapidly heading in that direction. Late game, Zerg is on the table here. It's up to sharp to see if he can pull out the tablecloth rip out the tablecloth uh in time here uh, interrupt hero's progress so far not going the greatest he's not able to get the irradiate on the defiler popping back through the nidus here just in time keeping that alive and has Plague on the way. Adrenal Glands as well. So he's getting every single upgrade that he needs. I don't see plus two armor though. Oh, that's really not good. We need plus two armor on the way. Where is that plus two? He has the money for it. I'm assuming he clicked it and it didn't start. That is a real shame here. As you can see, armor is done. Okay, there it is finally. Very good that he gets that started here because if he doesn't have that upgrade, he will never hit that critical four armor on the ultra list that he needs uh, to fight Marines in the late game. And it's it's crazy how much of a different it, how much of a difference it makes. But when you have like four two or uh, four armor ultras versus two attack Marines, it's it's actually possible to fight, but when you've got three armor mutas versus two attack marines, it's almost like they're just putty. They just fall apart. It's crazy. It really is a break point for the ultras and plus three attack is going to be started here for sharp. So staying right on top of that, he's actually going to finish plus three attack at about the same time as the plus two armor finishes, which is a little bit crazy. Going for Titan Reactor. Forgot about the name of that upgrade. For his science vessels. We'll be producing continual science vessels here. And maybe looking to get into some battle cruiser production here shortly. Although he hasn't started that just yet. He's more so looking to utilize the energy here on these vessels to just get value over and over again by irradiating everything here at the bottom right and looking for an opportunity to maybe break through. No CC down here yet, but we are on four bases and we have plenty of barracks at this point. These two, oh, one Valkyrie. Oh no, that's two Valkyries there, excuse me. Looks like one of them may end up going down very, very close. They do survive for now, really great micro from Sharp to keep those alive throughout all this. Just two Lurkers underneath this. He's gonna use the Valkyrie to kill the Overlord. Actually, this is so cool. All right, well, it was a lot cooler when he still had those vessels alive, but I was thinking that Overlord camped over top of the stack of Lurkers here, getting rid of that with the Valkyries that he made earlier in the game so that he doesn't have to irradiate it and waste an irradiate. 
seems like a really smart plan, but in the end, <laughs> he ends up losing uh, his science vessel, so might as well have just, you know, used the energy on the science vessel and kept the science vessel alive by irradiating the, the overlord there. Anyway, we've got Lynx starting to push out. A lot of Lynx hitting the field here, but Sharp is maxed. He is pretty darn big at this point. He's got bunkers everywhere. He's taking bottom left. Uh-oh. Hero is actually out on the map now, and we have Plague ready to go. Is he going to be able to get a big Plague on some big group of Marines here? There is the Defiler. Do we have enough energy for Plague? No, just two Dark Swarms are going to come down here. He'll have to bring the vessels forward. Now we have enough energy for Plague. Will he be able to throw it down? It's like uh, energy upgrade for the Defiler. Metasynaptic node has been researched, so he has that 250 energy now, and a big plague does go down. More and more defilers coming out. This is where things start to get really scary. Oh man, four drop ships coming in. He finally decides to pull the trigger on the drops, but is it too late? One goes down immediately before unloading even a single unit. The rest are gonna come back behind the mineral patches, try to unload here. Can he get huge, huge damage? in the main base, potentially kill some of these hatcheries, or will Hero be able to shut this down? I think we're just a little bit late at this point for the uh, for the drop play. Oh god, a lot of vessels going down. I think all the drops are going to fall as well. If you're doing your very first drop uh, while the ultralists are out, you know it's too late. Uh, you really want to get in there before uh, it gets to this point where Hero's at you know, four armor, and he's got a bunch of ultras out on the field. Ultras just clear Marine Medic in a dropship so well. They just, they do a great, great job. So he manages to clear that out. One lurker here at the natural and some eraser tricks gonna come down here. No burrow, unfortunately for hero. So a lot of these are gonna go down. Did manage to snipe with the Scourge, though. That irradiated vessel. And I don't think this is enough damage, guys. I think that Sharp, although he is big, Hero is going to be out on the map. He's going to start pressuring everywhere, and Sharp may end up just falling apart. He's got some units over here on the, the top side of his third base. He does get the irra uh, irradiate here on the Defiler, but the Defiler should be able to drop... A Dark Swarm here over the bunker. Oh, maybe it doesn't make it. It does not make it. That is big. A really big denial there. And some Marines making their way down here to the bottom left. They saved the base. That is huge. Science Vessel is going to be able to come forward. Maybe he can get another couple of Irradiates on a, a couple more Defilers here. That would be massive as well. Oh, a Breakthrough down here at the bottom right. Doesn't really get too much going, but he kills the Nidus. Which may come in really really clutch here a little bit later lurkers defilers making their way down to the bottom left he's probably gonna spot this he does to try and catch up with that defiler can he get it in time he does not manage to kill that off uh, and so that defiler may well make its way down here with enough energy for a big dark swarm this is the problem uh, at this point in the game, it's so hard to hold all of these different locations with Zerg just able to run units out on the map and quickly drop Dark Swarms and Plagues to pick off these bases. And there's not too much you can do about it. Uh, Dark Swarm coming up at the very last moment here to keep this base alive. Nice Plague there as well, but Sharp is bringing forward a huge group of units to try and back this up. He's got a lot of Firebats in the mix as well. Firebats can clear out all of the Lings and the Marines will shove forward here. Vessels coming overhead. They might be able to throw down a few Irradiates on any Defilers. And do we have... No, we do not have uh, any more uh, Nidus here. There's no Nidus. In this position, it's just these three hatches making as many lings and ultras as they can. And then the reinforcements coming down from the main. Oh no, that was on an A-click. So many lurk, or so many scourge just went down there. Uh, onto 
a single factory. That is really, really bad for Hero right now. Jumping back inside the bunker, Firebat will come through. That Firebat gonna help to clear everything out. The uh, eraser trick here in the bottom right, and he killed this natural that's so big. Sharp actually, is he making this work right now? He's got bunkers everywhere. He's keeping himself alive. The Ultras are gonna get in on top of this stuff with the Dark Swarm here, but breaking this base, so, so big. Oh God, these lurkers getting insane kills. Eventually they will go down. One last Ultra here. Is that enough to kill everything? No. It does get picked off. Single battle cruiser here picks off the defiler. That is a hero battle cruiser for saving that. Uh, saving this base, really. Uh, if he's able to bring up Marines, he should be able to keep this alive. Uh, with the Dark Storm, though, that certainly would not have been the case. Another base going down here, but we're so low on drones at this point. 28 drones for. Hero, it seems like Sharp may have done it. He can come over here and park and kill the extractor now. Re-establishing this base right here. More and more Marines coming out. Not a lot of Ultras. We've got like one Ultra there and one Defiler. And that's all he's able to muster. Two Defilers down here as well, but... Looks like Marines are over here spotting all of that. These Marines here have been left alone for kind of an insane amount of time. They've been sitting here forever. Another drop gonna come through. He's gonna go for the main now. I really do feel like fighting this gas or just killing drones right now would be fantastic, but this is what it is. He's gonna drop into the main. We're about at the end of this game, I think, with Hero running on fumes here. He's gonna bring together some last ditch scourge here to try and pick off these battle cruisers. He does get the battle cruiser, but down here at the bottom right, he's going to be broken, it seems. No lurkers at all underneath this. No lings either. And with the eraser trick, picking off the remainder of those defilers, moving in for the kill here. The drop does get clean, but the battle cruisers cannot be stopped. Another wave of scourge comes out. He's going to kill that at least. That battle cruiser there, but. The scourge finish off the BC, and there's just nothing left down here. No drones really for hero mining at this point. 24 total. Ling's gonna come down, clear out the uh, plagued marine medic, but another round makes its way to the front. It's just endless waves from Sharp, and GG is called. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Sharp, so on point here in this game, able to take down hero. This is what I thought we would see. Uh, his performance in the ASL against Zerg. Uh, it, he was looking so damn good. So unstoppable. Really wanted to see a game like this from him. It felt like the drops were quite late. Coming to the bottom right. That was his first attempt at a drop. And it didn't go well. But his constant irradiates. His very, very quick macro, taking bases all over the place and just pressuring and pressuring and pressuring this bottom right-hand corner eventually paid dividends. He was able to break through, take out that base, and make things incredibly difficult for Hero. Overall, just a fantastic performance out of him. I want to see him do super, super well next season, guys. Sharp absolute legend in the most recent kcm as well this guy has just been on fire thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this cast and i'll see you tomorrow